Well, scientists are calling it a once in a lifetime event, and it is happening in just a few days. On Monday afternoon, a total solar eclipse will be visible from the United States. It's the first one visible from coast to coast in nearly a century. As Nina Moyni shows us, the cost to view the event safely is now on the rise. There's going to be millions of people watching the eclipse. Even a quick peek without proper eye protection is dangerous, according to Dr. Yeah, Jeffrey Emerson. Glancing at the sun for even a short period of time can cause serious permanent damage to the eye. It's why protective eyewear like these glasses are sold out on many websites, with prices skyrocketing on others. Oh, I just love stuff like this. I love space and the stars. And Brothers Paul and Drew Kincaid got their pack of glasses for 25 bucks last week. Now the same eyewear is selling for $80 online. The sunlight is just too intense when it comes directly into the eye, and it can actually burn a hole in the retina. Dr. Emerson says the eclipse will last about three minutes, but the partial eclipse will last much longer. Your brain usually tells you to stop looking, so it's during the eclipse that things get interesting and, and you might fail to recognize that signal and you might keep looking. The intense light could burn a hole in the retina, creating a blind spot. So it makes it hard to read or drive or recognize faces, and it can be permanent. If you do decide to invest in a pair of these solar eclipse viewing glasses, make sure they comply with NASA safety standards using this code. The Kincaid brothers could sell their glasses and make a profit, but they'd have to wait about 28 more years for another opportunity like the one expected on Monday. Some glasses might be worth 80 bucks, but an eclipse is priceless. One alternative method for safe viewing of the partially eclipsed sun is with a pinhole projector. With this method, sunlight streams through a small hole. So we do have directions on how to make one for yourself at WCCO.com slash Eclipse, Frank. Uh, CBS is going to have special coverage Monday, I think, for a couple hours. While yeah, it'll be this, great. Yeah, right while it's going across the country. So, all right. Thank you, Nina. <laughs> Hopefully all this weather will pass by Ooh, then. It's not looking good. Really? Uh, no. really? By yeah, Monday? You know, it's, it's several days out, but that we have true. some rain coming in late Sunday to Monday. Oh, no. uh, by the way, it's about 106 our time in the afternoon, and we'll uh -huh. get about 83, 84 percent. So not totality, but mm -hmm. uh, pretty good show if the clouds cooperate. If. if. Well, they can always watch it on our we station here. We see our airport. lawn at 11 o'clock and started last Wednesday. It started raining at 1230. Brilliant. And it's rained every day since. <laughs>